Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Blender 3.3, the LTS is finally here. This is the first long-term support release for the Blender 3 series and this comes with a ton of features and improvements for Blender. Now, for those who are thinking about getting an LTS version that they can use for a good number of years before switching, then this particular LTS is one that you should consider switching to. This LTS release will be maintained from now till September of 2024. The Blender 3.3 LTS release also reinstates the fact that the folks at Blender are geared more towards developing the geometry node to make Blender a much more procedural tool. Now with some of the features that we talked about within the beta and within the alpha build coming to Blender, some of the other features that we sort of looked at and also explored couldn't make it to this release. And with that said, let's get right into it. The very first one is hair, which is the new way to groom hair in Blender, now available in Blender 3.3. And it's very interesting to see that this is available with the LTS, which simply means that it will be maintained over the coming years. This brand new hair system supports geometry node, which will bring to light lots of interesting hair stylization. The tools that comes with a brand new hair system is just more than enough to create hair and also style them to your liking. And if you want to push the boundaries of what you can create, you can also take advantage of the geometry nodes to create some very stylish looking effect. To me, I think the whole procedural nature of this just makes it worth the while and in coming months I do believe that we will see more and more improvements towards the hair system. This hair system is fully supported for EV and cycles which is quite refreshing. Something else which is refreshing is the procedural UV unwrapping. The new UV unwrapping and pack UV island nodes opens up a world of possibilities for those who love creating procedural assets that can be used in games. With artists being able to alter and reorganize an asset's UV on the fly, this would make for a great tool for asset developers who seek to use their assets on various game engines instead of creating several assets and swapping them during runtime. Still on the topic of nodes, there are now a good number of additional nodes in Blender 3. 3.3. This includes the short edge, edge path to curve, edge path to selection, volume cube primitive which loads of procedural asset creators would love, volume to mesh and so on. These and more are available for use in Blender for creating stunning and awesome procedural models. The Grease Pencil is another section of Blender 3.3 that has had a bit of love with this release. With an increased performance to line out loading and calculation, the new algorithm makes loading files and reading them significantly faster. There is a new sculpting mask option for editing brush strokes, a new ping pong mode in the time offset modifier, a new silhouette functionality which draws silhouettes around the selected collection or an individual object. There is also an additional parameter within the noise modifier which makes it possible to change or add noise on a stroke during keyframe. Additionally, there is a brand new shadow and light contour calculation which allows for a more accurate cast of shadow and light separation using a light source as a reference object. And finally, there is a multi-thread quad tree building method making triangle insertion and intersection calculation much more faster. And this all ties together to making the grease pencil a much more colorful, faster and more efficient tool to use. And in terms of animation, the dope sheet and timeline editors now support grease pencil keyframes along with other objects and property. So if you're animating other objects within your scene and you're wondering if your grease pencil keyframes will be visible within the dope sheet, yes they will. And moving over to rendering, just like we mentioned in the beta, right now Intel is now being supported for GPU rendering. At the same time, AMD GPU rendering for Vega generation graphic cards is also available for Windows and Linux users. The Meta GPU rendering on Apple Silicon has received optimization for memory access, locality, and intersection canals. There's a few things to keep in mind for those who have Intel graphic cards. You may need to take a look at the Intel Arc beta drivers that is currently available. This is definitely going to be useful for those who like to update and get the best performance from their Intel GPU. So if you do have an Intel or you have an AMD Vega GPU, right now you can take advantage of cycles and start getting some wonderful rendering out of it. And in terms of user interface, there's a brand new support for precision touchpad gesture. This idea makes a lot of sense, especially for those who do own a laptop and would like to simply hover around several parts of Blender's user interface and get some things done. It's also worth mentioning that Blender 3.3 is the first Blender to own the dark mode settings for the title bar. This is more visible for Windows users. At the same time, if you take a look at the outliner, you also notice that 3.3 outliner has a much more user-friendly way of visualizing data. Contrary to what we had previously, right now you can see the display of overridden properties in a hierarchy with proper UI names and icons. 
And in terms of pipeline asset and input output, there's an improved performance when importing OBJ, USD, and also Alembic files. In the same vein, the new experimental STL importer, which was rewritten in C++, is about eight times faster than the Python one. There's something else which is also very interesting to see is the image plane marker. And at this point, you can simply create and update an image from the pixels behind the plane marker. This simply allows you to create and unwrap textures from a billboard from footage to allow external editing and reprojecting this back into the footage. VFX artists would definitely find this one very, very useful as it will simply help them clean up several plates and also edit, amend and replace elements back into the plate. And with many more features available in Blender, it is just worth knowing that Blender 3.3, the LTS release, has a good set of features to set the ball rolling. Of course, there are more things that are available in Blender in subtle forms, but most of these ones that we've talked about are the major features that made it to Blender 3.3. And yes, we did talk about a couple of tools and experimentals. Unfortunately, features like the Viewport Compositor or EV Next did not make it to this version of Blender, but for the most part, we are extremely grateful for the features that we got to see today. And for anyone who would like to read upon all of this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can simply come through and check it out. And of course, if you would like to join the Blender conference that will be taking place on the 27th all the way to the 29th of October 2022, there's also going to be a link in the description where you can come through and read up all of this for yourself. Something else which is also very interesting to see is the folks at Blender Foundation are putting out a job offering. They're opening positions for senior Blender developer, senior backend developer, and also a communication specialist. Some time ago, they did open other positions. And right now, these are the positions that are currently available. So if you fit into any of this category, you can simply go over to blender.org forward slash jobs and apply for these jobs yourself. So this is more like it for those who like to download the fresh copy of Blender 3.3 or maybe you like to grab the splash screen scene, then links to this is also going to be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.